The fight for equality in the transgender community intensified this year from big political wins in states across the country to calls for change in school policy right here in the tri-state. But for many, the story that brought this issue to the forefront was the death of Leela Alcorn three years ago today. Not on your sides, Kristen Swilly joins us now with how that 17 year old is being remembered. Kristen. Yeah, well, in Leela Alcord's final hours, she pleaded with people to fix society, to make the world a more accepting place. Today, a small group gathered to show that mission isn't forgotten. It was heartbreaking, I mean, on, on so many levels. The shoulder of a busy highway and the freezing cold doesn't draw a big crowd. I think it means a lot, uh, even for people who don't know what it's for. But this is exactly where Lori Bertram and Savannah Rigsby say they needed to be. For such a young person to take their life um, and, and it'd be so so upset and, and, and lost of hope, um, it, it devastated me. I just kind of wanted to hug her and be like, everything's going to be okay. Three years ago, 17-year-old Leela Alcorn walked into traffic on I-71, taking her own life. She struggled for acceptance, and in a final message to the world, she asked her death, means something. We want them to be able to to have hope and 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 not despair um, and and acceptance. I mean that's really what we're looking for. Earlier this year, Alcorn was remembered at Cincinnati Pride. Since her death, Cincinnati City Council has banned gay conversion therapy and the way schools handle local transgender students is now at the forefront. It is an open accepting area, but at the same time, we do still have some kind of close minded people here. So I just think it'd be nice to know how many people even just around the world or uh, in the U.S. that knows her story and want to help. I think it would make her happy. And a wreath is placed on Alcorn's highway sign every year on the anniversary of her death. The area around it is also maintained quarterly through the Adopt a Highway program. Kristen. 